There it is. Yeah. Cool. All right. All right. It's Madame. You and your dancing cell. Yep. I'll stop eventually. There it is. <sighs> Hello. Welcome to Two Beards Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Nick. This is where I come in. Yeah, I almost, I almost have Levi. Yeah. And I'm Levi. Yeah. Maybe. Yep. And uh, this is the thing we do now. Um, we have cameras and we have visualization. For those on the audio, you can see us. Totally. Um, that's like a thing, right? Like, uh... Alright, well, I'll just answer my own question. I don't know what you're on about. And there's like bats and things that use sonar so they can like see through hearing, like getting the reverberation of waves. Do they see through hearing? Um, like, is it like Daredevil where he like actually, like they actually translate sound to sight? I Great film, by the way. don't know. I'll find out. Okay. Uh, but I thought I've always been under that impression. I could have, I could be completely wrong. I, I have no idea. So I don't know. I'm not a biologist. Yep. Nailed it. First try. An- animal. It- Animologist. Mm, you're getting further away. A uh, what are bats classified as? Mammals. Bird, right? They're a mammal. They're not a bird. Birds lay eggs. Yeah, good point. Here, wait. They're bats, flying rats. That was what was yeah me off. yeah they more which are rodents that, that yeah. do not lay eggs also. Yeah. Man, I'm having a hard time over here. I apologize. Struggle bus, dude. Uh, so while you're looking that up, I can tell us what we're drinking. Please. Uh, we are drinking uh, the Freem IPA from Hood River, Oregon. Uh, I think it's also pronounced uh, like if someone was t- going to ask you if you wanted fries with your burger. Mm-hmm. You're like, fry them. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I would. That's what I would do. So yeah, that checks out for me. Yeah. Pafrium? Yeah. How are you supposed to say it? Freem. That's stupid. There should at least be an H if you're going to do that. And and trust me, I'm very against pH. Yeah. I mean, it is it is weird. But that is, uh, I was reading up on it, actually, and the capital F is to actually help people pronounce the <laughs> yeah. yeah. Interesting. It's uh, the owner's uh, last name. So that's very odd. Does it say what uh, ethnicity he is? Probably. <laughs> okay. He's that's from fair. Seattle area, something like that. I know that much. That's fair. But that's that's about it. Yeah, that I know. Yeah. Um, I also know that like I I looked up how to pronounce Freem, and uh, I thought you'd like this. Go on. Uh, Freem uses PF as its logo, and Freem in its advertising with the capital F. To help people pronounce the name and to emphasize the family-friendly nature of the business. Hey! We're family-friendly again. That is nice. Again. Look at that. Look at us. for family. So back to bats. They're not blind, for the record. Yeah. They, yeah, they, which I knew. They just have poor eyesight. Right. It's not great. Especially in the dark, which mm-hmm. I think that's most of us can't really see the dark very well. But it says... Uh, Unless you kill a few people. And then you get sent to a prison where you'll never see daylight again. And you pay a doctor there to shine your eyes. It's real out there. Second time I've made a Riddick reference this week. Fun facts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. you're the only one who got that. You in the chat. Do you not like Riddick? Or have you not seen I don't Pitch know that Black I... Chronicles of Riddick? Do you don't think? think I have. We gotta watch those. Right. They're great films. Vin Diesel. I can get down with him. So yep. Yeah, I'm familiar with it, but I'm I have not I don't think I've seen him. He's not a superhero, but he's like I mean maybe he's considered a superhero, I don't know. But like at least in my mind, he is like a superhero that I wanna be. Uh, he's up there on the list for me. Okay. Pretty badass. That's fair. So back to bats. Yeah, bats. They find their way around very quickly in total darkness. Bat echolocation visualized, it says. Uh, that's, they just like, but it has like a picture. 
I don't. <laughs> it's just, it's not really useful as far as explaining this. You're not being very helpful here. I'm sorry. It's, it's hard to, I can't. I'm not finding anything definitive. Maybe you should ask Siri. Maybe. Uh, it would probably help, because I'm about as useless as her right now, to be honest. I'm searching, do bats visualize their sonar? Mm. Mm hmm. You probably got the exact same thing I did up top there. Uh, yeah, the they're telling me it's not sonar, it's bat echolocation, <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> fucking idiot. Dolphins use sonar. Actually, I think that's echolocation, too. Let us know, chat. Do dolphins use echolocation? I'll let you know. Do this will be the whole podcast. We can just Google yeah. things. If you stand on the end edge of a canyon and shout hello, you'll hear your own voice coming back to you an instant later. You know. I just answer my question. Okay. Listen to this. Dolphins have developed the ability to use echolocation, often known as sonar. Same yeah. fucking thing. Get out of here. Just like key changes and modulations. Fucking synonymous. Okay. Um, yeah, so it, to me... Um, so, okay, I'm, I'm at the end of the thing here. A bat processes all this information unconsciously, the same way we process... The visual and oral information we gather with our eyes and ears. That forms an echolocation image in its head that is something like the image you form in your head based on visual information. So similar. Probably not the same, but very similar. Yeah, so I think they probably... It's it's less of a... Like, they see it in their mind and more of like a... Like, if I was like, visualize your desk at work right. kind of thing. Exactly. Like, you can kind of... You know, make it out. Yeah, you can see that, but yeah. But it's not like an actual. That would be weird to have that like going real time. You know what I mean? So like yeah. your imagination going real time, and then like being able to interact with it. That'd be fucking weird. Yeah, I don't. It might turn out like to them. It might actually be like a actual visualization. I don't know. That's interesting. For dolphins, it says. Uh... But also, like, how would we know? We're looking this up, and it's like, how would somebody know? Well, so I. <laughs> this is like this is like my dad. Maybe, He's always the first person to be a skeptic of maybe they could science. They know like the eyesight part of the brain, and That's like they can say. see how the wavelengths and like how the electrical signals go across yeah. when you actually visually see something. And but, so they might be like, we're seeing uh, similarities in the signals being like mm -hmm. just back back and forth. But it's not the exact same. So maybe it's kind of like also. When you, you know how, like, when you smell something, it's, that part of your brain is so close to your memory, like, it kind of leaks over. Yeah. So, uh, like, when you uh, smell something, it brings up memories. Maybe, like, they're, like, that's also kind of what it is, is it also bleeds into their visualization part of their brain. Yeah. It's weird, man. It's crazy. Science. It's crazy. That, I wonder if bats developed that or if that was just something that they've had. Well, I guess, all right. That was like, like evolution? Yeah, but I guess everything has evolved, yeah, so. Maybe. I don't know. Well, well, allegedly. Um, but it says that dolphins Only if you believe use in it. evolution. It says it lets dolphins use it to, quotes, see. So it's like. Yeah, but it's just like, like quotes, see. But not like, really. You know, it's not it's seeing, seeing. Are they daredevil? That's the question. I don't think so. No, they're not mm -hmm. quite there. So, um, this beer... Yeah. Is 6.8%. That's what I was about to ask you. <laughs> That's why I stopped. I was just about to say, uh, did you say anything about this beer no, as I was Googling about bats? We didn't, we didn't say anything. 6.8%, uh, 65 IBUs for the one person that listens that cares. Renee, you're welcome. Yep. Where did, why did we start... Singling her out. I don't think she cares. She was the one who said we should talk more about the beer. Oh. Uh, like facts. In the beginning. Yeah. She wants the cold heart facts. That's fair. Alright. There's your facts. There they are. Read them and weep. Or don't. Or also has some them. Chinook, Mosaic, Citra, and Warrior hops. Yummy. The yeast is American Ale. 
Oh. Malts. They're a thing. They got it. What do you think? This is your first time having the beer. Uh, I tried it last last week. You tasted mine. Yeah. It's really good. I like this a lot. Um, I feel like any beer... Let me rephrase this already. I feel like most beers that people advertise that have citra hops in them, the other things that they put in that beer to make it taste the way that it does, uh, I end up liking that beer. Just things that mesh well with citra hops, like whatever it is, like the flavors that they create when utilizing citra, I almost always enjoy it. Yeah. I, I'd see that. I'm, but I think I'm probably pretty similar. I mean, we have a very similar palate when it comes to beer, so that makes sense. Um, the interesting thing I think about this beer is it actually has like kind of a sweet, creamy texture to it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of like on the back of your tongue. Yep. You get that? It's interesting. No, I agree, especially for the way that it looks. Like, yeah, it looks really light, crisp. Looks, yeah, it just looks like a very light, crisp, like pale ale. Yep. Wouldn't, would definitely not peg it for what Which it is. Which you can see it on the podcast now. YouTube us. Comment down below. <laughs> like and subscribe, please. You can do those things. Or don't, whatever. Or don't. Live your life. I mean, you're on YouTube probably once a day, so fuck you if you just can't hit two buttons, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm not better. Speaking of uh, telling people to go fuck themselves. Go on. Uh, you found out that there are uh, some people at our work that listen <laughs> to us. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Uh, there are also some people that probably don't, but just know about it. Yeah. Shame on Fuck you. You know? So you're... You yeah. want to encompass everyone. I am calling them out. Even the ones that aren't here, I'm Great. calling them out. Perfect. Fuck you, too. <laughs> if you're going to know about it and not give it a go, good one, sit. Okay. As long as you're equally... Everyone... <laughs> handing out fucks. Everyone should equally be fucked. That's okay. all I'm saying. That's all that I want. I just want everyone to be equal. You know, I've always felt that way about anything, like, um, anytime anyone says something extremely offensive towards a specific group of people, whether that be, like, race or sexuality or, like, religion religion or status in life, I don't care. And people be like, man, you know, Nick, you probably don't care because you're just some, like, middle-class white kid. And you know what? That's probably true. But... Let me tell you something that might you not have known. I just pulled that one around. I messed up and just brought it right back around. Um, if there were a word that you could call me mm-hmm. that would be just as offensive, and I know there's not, and there never will be, um, but if there were a word just as offensive to me as like the N word is to black people, I would want you to call me that. I would want you to call me well, that. White, so like I feel like it's it, fine. Okay. I'm just saying, I don't think it would have, it might not have the same effect. Totally. So, like, an Asian person could call me that. Okay. I would want them to do that. And then I'd be like, meh. Cool. I don't really care. Uh, doesn't really matter. So, because it's not all just about these single words, I feel like. Like, you can say plenty of things that are hurtful towards me. Um, probably just as hurtful as that word, I would argue. You could say things that, like, hurt my feelings as much as, like, something could. And it ultimately does not bother me. And so I just want everyone to be on a level playing field. And I feel like words should not matter as much as people let them. You know? Equally offend everybody. Exactly. That's why I love South Park. Hate all people. Yes. (laughs) That's exactly what I've been trying to say. You stole the words out of my mouth. I, I don't know. That, again, that's why I love South Park, because there are no lines in that show, and they will make fun of anybody and everybody. Everybody. Yeah, it's great. And that's how right, the South world Park. should be, because then everyone will just be a lot happier, I think. I So, the last season of Always Sunny mm-hmm. uh, got released on Hulu recently, mm-hmm. and um, it's not the last, last, but the latest. And, like, the first six episodes... 
they just do like, um, I mean, it's pretty much the entire series, really, but they just do like current political topics, Mm -hmm. like uh, pride and abortion stuff. I don't know if they do. No, they might. Uh, like they do like a Republicans episode and Democrats. Like they, I mean, they, they similar to South Park. They kind of just they attack in support, like both sides to everything. Yeah, which I enjoy because it's like there's so many shows that like just take one position. And you're like, even if I agree with this, like just stop. Yeah, right. Um, but same thing. It's like it's so refreshing just to be like. Ah, fuck everybody. Exactly, yeah. Fuck everyone, fuck everything. Like, just level the playing field. Like, we're all just humans, and we're all here just doing our own thing, and, like, we shouldn't be getting all up in everyone's business, and we shouldn't take uh, it personally when other people do that to us, because it ultimately does not matter. Also, people are just assholes. Exactly. Just fucking deal with it. People are assholes. It's a thing. Like, today, I was on a freeway. People were being absolute assholes. And by that, I mean they're going way too slow. Very inconsiderate. Someone today, I, I uh, moved over left mm-hmm. to get out of an exit-only lane. Yep. And uh, I thought, this person next to me is probably also doing that. I gave them time. They didn't move over. And uh, I was like, okay. On. What do you mean by that? I'm in an exit-only lane on the freeway. Yeah, you move over to I the left lane. To the left lane. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm seeing them driving, and I'm like, so is there a car behind you or in front of you? No, to the, uh, originally they were in front of me. Oh, they in started the slowing lane. down in, a little bit. And... Well, I just like sensed it. Yeah, I was yeah. like, these guys are moving. This chick is moving over. Yeah. So I slowed down a little bit, let, gave her enough space. I'm, I'm a nice guy. Yep. Doesn't move over. Classic. And I'm like already driving slower than I'm, I normally drive. Yep. And so I'm like, okay, she's exiting. Great. I'm just going to speed up and go. Yep. So I speed up. Get pretty close to the car, like, that's in front of me now. And, uh, like, all of a sudden, and, like, now I'm, like, basically past her. Right. All of a sudden, she, like, speeds up and, like, and, like gets over aggressively. Oh like, God. I have to, like, slow down, like, actually break, slow down, let her over. What a fucking joke. I'm like... Piece of shit. Just get over earlier, just Piece get behind me. Like, w- like, why are you... Why do you, what the makes a person need to get in front of me just because I passed them? What was wrong with behind you, too? I know. There's like, probably no one there. Like, I'm, like, I'm a fast driver. You don't have to worry about me slowing you down. Clearly, I'm driving faster than you are. Know where I'm going more than you do. Yep. Just get behind me. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I know, man. It's bad. It's... It, people are very spatially Driving unaware. in Washington. People, yeah, they are. Yeah, they're very spatially unaware. And and we, and we I don't know if we talk about this on podcast, but we talk about this all the time, that, like, we're, we are both people who are very aware of our surroundings. Yeah. Where we know exactly what's going on. And so much so that we're probably even more aware of uh, the people around us and their surroundings more than they are about themselves. Probably true. There are plenty of times where I'm conversing with someone or standing just near someone and I see them talking to someone else just completely has no idea what they're about to do. And they're like talking and like standing and like, I'm just going to start backing up while I'm talking. And I see this person come and walk in and I'm like, they're about to just walk into this person. Why? How did you not see them out of the corner of your eye? Why would you just start backing up in the middle of an aisle like this? Strollers at Disney, dude. There's a lot. (laughs) Yeah, that's absolute death for you. My, uh, one of my favorite things to do, um, especially like where I live in Tacoma, uh, it's kind of out of the way from like normal things. You know, like I'm, I live in like, like a housing area. Right. So if yeah. you don't live here, there's no reason for you to drive through. Here. Right. 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 Um, so I love, like one of my favorite things to do when I'm, when I'm driving with Elizabeth is and I'm, and I'm like driving behind someone, I like to be like, this person doesn't know where they're going. <laughs> and she's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, I can tell just by the way they're driving. They don't know where they're going. Yeah. They have no clue what's happening. It's right very now. easy to tell. Like the speed, where they're going, like turns they, they are taking or are not taking. And I'm like, I get, these guys don't know where they're going. Yep. And there's so many times where like they'll, because my, I'm like on the edge of like streets where people actually drive. Mm-hmm. So many times where like people panic 
turn off on our street and I and it looks like I'm following them because <laughs> like I'm still I'm turning onto my street. Yeah. And they like immediately right like pull over to the side of the road and like stop and get out their phones and figure out where they are. And I'm like, see? Told you. Yep. No fucking clue. Not a clue. Yeah. Or they're just scared that I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> also highly likely. Could be the case. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you are riding your brakes. There's a high chance I am going to actually murder you. Yeah, it's that fair. <laughs> no, man. I, uh, just downing this beer, dude. It's a little hot. Yeah, I don't know what it is. But also, I think I'm thirsty and it's really good and it's light. It's after work. Yeah, dude. I literally, mid traffic on the way here, I was like, I need a fucking beer. <laughs> so I'm fucking, I'm gonna walk in that door and be like, Levi, I need a beer. And I didn't even do that. No. And but here you are, and you have your beer. I, I feel great now. I feel great. Yeah, I'm not mad about this. This is a good time. Yeah. And we, uh, if, if you're watching the video and you haven't noticed, we kind of changed up how we're sitting. We do a lot of hands stuff. Um, Just really so we're not sitting on stools anymore. It's infinitely more comfortable. Yeah, this is, I have, oh my god. I probably shouldn't have taken this chair. I gave that chair to you because you're taller, so we could like even out a little bit more. Yeah. But I just want to like swing all over the place oh. in this chair. <laughs> like I've already been like, hey, we're moving. Yeah. Hey, from over here. Hey, from over there. But I'm sure like you're the same way. I would. You have a ton, well, you also have a ton of room. Yeah, the, the butt, if you could see, the butt of this chair is, they can't see. It's about two and a half butts worth. Yeah. So I, it's I've got some, chair. I've got some wiggle room. I could, I'm chilling back here on the back. I could come up here and, and just play it close, you know, next to the table and get really into it. This is, <sighs> I feel like I have to talk quieter. But we probably don't because probably the mic don't. sucks. It, it's not, it doesn't suck. It doesn't suck, but it's not it's good. It's not the best. I've used better. It's funny because like, uh, so it's the blue Yeti. I think, which is like a uh, pretty, uh, it's basically the gold standard for what podcast users when they don't know anything about audio, aka me. Uh, so I got that. It's easy. Now that I've been learning a lot of stuff, uh, it's not great. Have we talked about this too? I'm a firm believer of not using uh, quote unquote beginner stuff. Fuck that shit. So I'll give you I'll give you an example. Is uh is a lot of people will say um like if you're getting into like snowboarding or skateboarding, they'll be like, oh yeah yeah, you know that's a good beginner board. You know that's a mm-hmm. good board to learn on, and uh, you know it's not really expensive, and uh, it it has this kind of a profile that's good for beginners. Fuck that. Because then when you're like, I think I enjoy this, I'm going to stick with it. Now you need to buy more equipment. So now you're actually wasting more money than if you would have just bought the real deal from the beginning. Plus, the real deal has a slightly different feel. So that's something else that you have to completely now get used to. I think it depends on the the hobby. Like, I'll give you a couple examples. Please. I would so like what, to refute them. Yeah. So like the mic thing, for example. Okay. I have like I just had no idea what I was doing, so totally. getting an XLR mic, getting some kind of audio interface, yeah, you know, like it's there's a, a higher barrier for me when it's just like I just need to figure out how we can kick off our podcast and get it like decent. Okay, Devil, right? devil's advocate. Yeah, would you argue that was just due to impatience and wanting to just get it going rather than if you would have just done a little bit more research into the mechanics of it rather than just like what's a popular go-to cheap mic, you probably could have figured it all out. It just would have taken a little bit more time. Uh, maybe, but also like, uh, I think part of it was just figuring out, like I had so much on my, like a, we were on a timeline, Mm -hmm. right? Like we wanted to, we like, that's true. We said, if we didn't create a timeline, we'd never get it done. Accurate. So we made a timeline. Yep. And then B, I had so much other shit to figure out that I didn't want to deal with learning audio because I knew it's such a massive world. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I got to figure out podcasting, uploading it, you know, getting the details worked out of everything. So I was like, this is just something I'm going to throw so, so I would argue that's a choice, though. 
you're, you made you made the choice that I know that I'm not going to get the best of the best. I am just going with what's more easy and convenient right now because it's going to work. And it's going to get the job done, and it is going to be good. It's not going to be amazing, but it is going to be good. Yeah, I and I guess you didn't get shit here. I mean, this is a no, good yeah, mic. I mean, I, it does the job. It does. I guess what I I think as far as like when I talk about beginner stuff, like another good example is photography. Yeah, photography is fucking expensive. Totally. Like I the will amount get. of money I put into like cameras and lenses, and it's crazy. Yeah. Um, I'll give you this one. Like. And you can do so much on just like a simple body and like a like a fifty millimeter thirty five equivalent. Yep. That it's like you really don't like, especially a beginner who doesn't know what they don't know. You really should start out on like an introductory body and lens. Yeah. Because but like, what's great about that though is like I I do think there are differences like compared to like photography versus longboarding. Totally. What's nice with photography, and and correct me if I'm wrong, because this is something that I'm not too familiar with, um, is at least, like, even if you just, like, etch that starting point, you know, with with a beginner body and lens, like, you can make upgrades from there that aren't gonna, aren't going to, like, inhibit you in the end, I guess. Yeah, most, like, so, when you talk about DSLRs, Usually, there's cropped sensor cameras, so the sensor is a little bit smaller. I mean, there's also micro four thirds, but mainly there's crop sensor lenses, lenses, the crop sensor camera bodies, and full frame camera bodies. So the sensors are full frame mm-hmm. or thirty five millimeter. Um, so typically, when you talk about like Canon and Nikon, those are your two options. Now, typically, crop sensors are cheaper. Um, and there are professionals who use crop sensors and there are great, I mean, you can use any lens, you can use full frame lenses on crop sensors, but typically your lens range, as far as professional lenses go to stay true to how they're made, you're going to want a full frame body and usually those are more expensive. Totally. Yeah. And, and and that's, I guess that's just what it's come down to as well is for me in like different hobbies that I've done is that like. It's not the end of the world, but it's just like, I'm like, man, I, I guess I kind of wasted a little bit of money up front. Like, I mean, you could argue that like, it's what got me into it. And so yeah. it, it did its job and, and it held up. But like, I'm like, dang, I feel like I wasted money. And then on top of that, like once I get the bigger and better thing, I'm like, holy shit, this is like way better. Like I, I wish, wish I would have learned. Yeah. I wish I would have learned on this. I wish yeah. I would have got this from the beginning because it's way better. So yeah, I can definitely like it does ties with that yeah and i i think outside of like specialty hobbies yeah uh that's probably pretty true yeah yeah i think when you start like getting in to things like the audio world where it's just like where do you even start yeah that's true yeah there are, there are a lot of things where like okay i, just, I need to get the basics because so yeah i've, I've worked on I've, I've worked with like tiny little analog four channel mixers before that have like three knobs and three buttons. And it's like as simple as it gets, you know what I mean? It's like, Mm -hmm. you know, you got your gain and your level and it's like your inputs and outputs and you're good to go. And then I've worked with like, you know, something like 64 input, like mixing boards and there's all these different buttons and a lot of the buttons, depending on which button you push, do like three different tasks and it's digital compared to analog. And so it's like, I would just start like yeah, fucking with right, yeah. I, I wouldn't even totally. Know. And 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 I and if you didn't start on that first thing, like learning those core principles on that first board, like it would probably have made the the other one way more difficult. And yeah. so yeah, so something like that. You're right. You do need like a jumping off point, and then kind of dive into there. So I also think like range is a big deal, right? Like you can buy. And, and I guess, like, a actually, I think a good medium example for this is espresso. Mm-hmm. You can get, like, a $50, you know, Starbucks <laughs> automat, fully automatic espresso machine. Right. That you're not going to learn anything. Right. You're going to get your coffee, kind of. Kind of. Or you could spend, like, $300 and get, like, a semi-automatic, semi-manual 
espresso machine. Yeah, I mean, you could, yeah, but you could also get up to like, you know, 12 cars worth of 12 cars. Yeah, dollars. That means, yeah. So it's just like, probably not recommending someone who doesn't know coffee to get one of those. Right. Yes, that's fair. Yeah, because then at that point, it would be the reverse. You'd be wasting all this money because it's something that you don't know anything about. And it's like, you're never going to figure it out just starting from there. Yeah. So, and you probably don't like coffee enough to appreciate the espresso machine for what it is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, if you have the money, like totally, this is one of the things I hate, like in the photography world is, um, people are always like, Oh, why'd you spend the money on that camera? You don't know what you're doing. Like all that stuff. And I'm like, some people just have the money and they spend it on what you like. Yep. Uh, I'm a hundred percent a firm believer of that. People, people will say that too. They're like, Oh my gosh, like, I can't believe they got that. And I'm like, I could afford it. I would. They wanted it. Yeah. I'm like, it's something that yeah, I'm like, or even vice versa. Maybe I'll be like, Oh man, I can't believe they got that. And then I, you know, double down. I'm like, I guess I mean, if you got the money, go for it. So one of the things that we were talking about, uh, like last week was shoes. Yeah. You were telling me about like a pair of shoes that you got that just killed you. Your black pair. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're, and they they were very cost effective. They were probably like 50 bucks and they're uh, like a decently, they're a relatively nice looking dress shoe, you know? Um, yeah. And and they, they do the job, like, but like after I'm standing in them for like a couple hours, I'm like, fuck, like this is starting to not feel pretty good. And especially by the end of the day, I'm like, damn, I cannot wait to get these off. Compared to, you know, my, my other uh, shoes from Aldo, you know, and you can already tell, like, just from looking at them, like, this is a lot higher quality leather, and just the second you put them on, you're like, oh my gosh, this just fits way better, they feel more comfortable, and I could wear them all day and be totally fine. But it's something that both of us, uh, like, equally judge for ourselves buying, and also judge other people when, like, yeah. you're walking around with Nikes, and you're like... Why? Why buy Nike? So like, you're gonna spend, spend like three hundred dollars. Yeah. For what? And then we both like buy three hundred dollars pair of shoes, and like they're magical, and you're like, yeah, I, I get it. I'll I'll continue judging you for doing that, <laughs> but 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 I also get it at the same time. So yeah, no, a hundred percent. Yeah, and and Nike's that's like the perfect example that we were talking about too. Is where like I think I was. I was 21. I had not owned a single pair of Nikes up until I was 21. And then I didn't even get them. Somebody got them for me as a gift. And uh, I was like, begrudgingly, I'm like, all right, these are... I'm not a runner, clearly. <laughs> but fine. <laughs> but fine. I'll wear them. <laughs> and I put them on. I'm like, oh, fuck. I could just like sleep in these bad boys. I cannot explain how wrong I am right now. <laughs> So I won't. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> yeah. I'm not taking these off because I can't. Not, <laughs> I don't enjoy them. I promise. I hate them so much. They're the worst. But I won't take them off. Yep. That was also one of the first pairs of shoes that I have no problem admitting that I actually untied and retied every time I wore them. Because I wanted them to last. Dude, that's so much work. I know! So much work. I know! And I did that because I was the second I put them on, I'm like, these are something special. I need to take care of these. I have a pair of boots that I have like that. Yeah. I also have a pair of boots that I've literally owned for uh, 10 years. Wow. Um, the zipper broke while I was at work on Tuesday. That sucks. That sounds like it's something that's replaceable, though. I yeah. I mean, I've already um, rehealed my boots, like yeah. the heel of the boot. I've had to, I've had to replace those. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna keep them going. Yeah, but still, just like it's it sucks. sucks when yeah. It's like it's a high annoyance. I love the shoe, sure. and then fuck me. Yeah. I feel like I don't know. I guess I'd have to see the boots. I don't know which ones you're talking about, but like they're my brown boots that you. I've, like, worn forever. Yeah. So, I mean, but more intricately, like, it, it, it would it be possible just to, like, take, a, like, an alteration place and just throw a new zipper on there and it'd be good as new? That's probably what I need to do. Yeah. So, thankfully, then, it probably won't be, like, too expensive. 
probably won't be expensive at all. Yeah, actually. Probably. Compared to like if it was like this weird way that it was stitched or something just weird where it was like, damn, like this is gonna cost probably half the price of the fucking boot just to get this fixed. One of the nice things about the boot is it really isn't like like it's the only weird thing is that it's like part leather and then like up the ankle is like a I don't know what kind of material it is, but it's like a almost like a plasticky, like rough waterproofy material. Yeah. Uh, like yeah, that's yeah. the only weird thing about the boot. Everything else is like bog standard. Right. Right. Yeah. But also a very expensive boot that's literally lasted me ten years, so Exactly. And that's why I got so much value out of that. Yep. I know. I, there's a, uh, up until, I mean, up until I was 21 when I got my first pair of Nikes, it was like every sh- pair of shoes that I would get was like pretty much just like a skating shoe. Mm-hmm. And they would last me like anywhere from six months to a year tops. And by Especially that point, skating. yeah. And at that point they were like fucked. Yeah. And so, but I mean, even there were some shoes that like I wouldn't even skate in and they would just get fucked in like six months. And it was like, Okay, time for our new shoes. So, uh, every now and then, uh, it is definitely worth what you pay. But I still, it, it is still definitely a hard pill for me to swallow because I hate spending money on that kind of shit, like clothes and shoes and things Even like that. Even though you know it'll so be worth it, still. Totally, yeah. And it'll save me money in the long run. But it's, yeah, it's just that initial pay. Uh, and I'm honestly that way with anything. Like, making a big a relatively big purchase on anything, I get like shivers down my spine because I'm like, this is a lot of money. But knowing that it's going to last and whatnot. Did I like stop recording? No, I was just checking the time. Oh, I was like, the fuck? We don't have a producer that does this kind of thing. Ugh, how embarrassing. Or a little timer in the back. That, that, would, nice. that would be good. That we can make happen. That we could probably actually That we could do. That would be really simple. Yeah, that would be very simple. Very... <laughs> yep. Fun. Yep. We could do that. We should probably do that next time. <laughs> Noted. Something else to add to our Amazon list. Yep. Just a big, fat clock. Timer. Whichever. I kind of like the timer option, but... Yeah. I like the, I like the timer option. Yeah. What are we at, anyways? Uh, almost 40 minutes. Okay. Maybe. All right. Well, I don't know because we also started the, the audio early, so. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Or somewhere. Yeah. Maybe get like a quarter into this beer halfway and then go for it. This just goes so quick. It does. Should we Maybe we should just talk about it and get get past it. All right. Okay. Well, and then yeah. if we want to keep going, we'll keep we'll going. We'll keep going. Yep. I like, like some of that. So... Here's some ASMR beer since we're so close to the mic right now. <laughs> I like to force my can upon its glass. See, I, I do the whole squeeze to get the last drop. Mm. I just shake yeah. the shit out of it. Yep. Yeah. I'm a squeezer. It's beautiful. We got alternating logos going on. I do as well. Yeah, you did. Yep. Yeah. No, we thought the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Not that, like, you, you really can't see it, but, nope. like, kind of a little bit. Maybe, like, if you're, I don't know. Yeah, actually, I don't know. Kind of a little kind bit. Kind of a little bit. All right. What do you think? How does this beer look? I feel like I've taken over a lot of your, uh, maybe it's because we switched chairs. <laughs> I described the beer. I'm now, well, I introduced the beer, which you is normally you do. I do normally do that. And now I'm asking you how it looks. Yep. <laughs> I'm not mad about this. It's fine. This is nice to enjoy the podcast. It's weird. I have no production responsibilities right now. That's got to change soon, though. Um, looks pretty straightforward, my friend. It's very clear, uh, very yellowy. First thing I wrote down. Really. There you go. Yeah, that's like the first thing that like jumps out at you, especially for this. Like we've talked about in the beginning, like the style. Yeah. No, 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 mix that. The way that it tastes, not the style, the way that it tastes, you wouldn't expect something like that to be like this clear and this the way. Yeah, I saw that actually. And GG for not spilling. Little bit of buggy. Little bug on his class for you audience. Little fruit fly. He gave it a good old tap and end of the life. One time I karate chopped a bee out of the air and died. That's amazing. I like jumped up, karate chopped. Like I was just fucking around. Like it was a joke. Right. 
Like, oh, I'll get the beat. And, and it, I actually hit it. Oh, how funny. It's dead. <laughs> Not so funny to him. <laughs> I like bees. I, I probably shouldn't have killed it. Yeah, they're assholes, though. They are, but I also like bees. I don't I don't invite them anywhere I go, okay? I don't put off that kind of bee-inviting vibes. I don't bathe in, in sweet nectar or anything like that. I would own bees. Yeah, yeah. Maybe if they, I had the room to own Maybe bees. that's what we should do. Befriend them. Show them that we're someone they can trust. And then they tell their friends and word could get around. See, you were befriending. I was thinking, like, own them like slaves. <laughs> <laughs> they fear me. <laughs> I rule that two different approaches for two different personality types. <laughs> you heard it here first. Oh yeah, clear, yellowy. My glasses is very bendy. I could break. I this. told I you, I could you, break this. You, if I squeezed Nick, hard enough, it would Nick break. Picked out these glasses. Uh, they are not great. Hmm. They're not. They're fine. They visually are nice. Visually, they they look nice. Uh, I just could crush them. I mean, that's what we're talking with about. With our like, bare it's hands. It's just so thin. Yeah. And it like feels plasticky almost plasticky, glass. Yeah. Like it just. Especially when you hold the bottom. It's like the top part just feels like nothing. You're just waving nothing around. So. All right. Back to the beer. Um, Some good carb. Very good carb. Very clear and yellowy. Um, not really much of an orange tint going on here for what it tastes. I, I kind of got a lie right now because it's like, like yeah. this light hold is it, real. Yeah, hold it up over there. But if I go like right this, it's like yeah. pretty yellow. But yeah. like, it's more goldy. I, I think I gold could, is yeah, probably I could a better term. Gold, because it's definitely not orange. Yeah. Um, I don't even know. What are they going to taste technically after this? Should we just uh, after we this, skip After that? this is smell, okay. actually. Can we switch that permanently in here? Uh, I don't know. It just, I'm just, oh, I'm just reading the notes. It smells fucking beautiful. God. No, it actually does smell really good because it's like, it's got a really nice <sighs> blend. Uh, yeah, go on. Uh, a really nice blend of like hoppiness and also like kind of sweet smoothie fruit, not like a citrusy fruit. Yeah. So it's like very smooth taste, very smooth smelling. Okay, sorry, I'm going to live like this for now on. Okay. This is nice. Okay, Darth Vader. Sure, this audio is really great. It's 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 a little earthy, little earthiness going on, and I can verify that because my nose is in the beer. Low earth, low earth. Ooh, I almost sucked it up with my nose that time. I mean, that'd give you something else. Yeah, it the uh, it's. I mean, it's and like I said to begin with, anything citra I love, and it's very citra-y characteristic going on in the Citra E. Would you Citra is that like, E. Is that okay, that's a Sierra. For me, I go with citra. a nice Citra dash Y okay. or just Citra Y. That's how I I was doing Citra that. dash Y, but I wasn't sure if you wanted to do no, like no. a double E. It's a it's, it's up to personal preference. That's who's ever typing, but that's how I would annotate it. Uh very yeah, very citra y uh characteristics going on in here and uh oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that burns! I oh. watched that happen. Uh, Nick, Nick may have uh, snorted some beer there. It smells so good. Oh, it hurts so good. I watched oh. the beer hit the bottom of your nose, and then you inhaled. Like, I know it happened way faster. It happened so fast. <laughs> like, I watched it in slow motion. Just gently touches your nose, and then you just breathe it in. That was great. It also, got, it also wouldn't stop because... It was only the right nostril. The left one was clear. All signs go, man. But the right one was just a yeah, dead stop. That's, that's fantastic. I got, I got a, yeah, I saw that. I don't know what they're on about up here. They just need to go. They like the Citra, dude. Yeah, you do. I they can relate. Like the Citra. I don't know what kind of... I mean, I guess it's like, a, it's like a sweet orange, but like I wouldn't call it tangerine. You know what I mean? I don't know what I'll, it's I like disagree. a juiciness to it. Pineapple, maybe? I mean, I smell pineapples. I just, I, I, I don't agree with you here. Give it, give it a, get in there. I, I need you to get in there. <laughs> I for don't me. want to smell. I it need here. you to get in there. Are you talking about the smell or the taste here? The smell only, okay. not the taste. I thought we moved on to taste. No, I'm sorry. I do not taste pineapple. Uh, prob that, probably. That's what I was saying. I don't taste pineapple. Okay, it's. 
I, I'm Should not going to snort it. Yes. All. I mean, please don't. <laughs> Didn't feel good. Uh, but you got You really got to get in there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I get close, and I get pineapple. Not the not the tartness of it, but the sweetness of it, if you will. Because I wouldn't attribute that to orange. Now that I'm getting in there, I really, I really agree on earthy. It is very earthy. Yes. Yes. Very earthy. That's something you really got to get in there for. These are good glasses for this, by the way. Okay, I see, I kind of see the citrus notes that you're talking about. Like, yeah. on the very, like, very, I'm, very high notes. Yeah, because I wouldn't, but I wouldn't call it, like, tangerine. No, 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 it's not, it's not tart. It's like right? a, yeah, it's like a pineapple orange juice. There's some sweetness, yeah. but not like a whole lot of tartness. Probably coming from the hops. Pro oh, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't taste those flavors. You don't smell them? Or taste, taste them. them. Yeah, I do not I'm taste smelling. what I'm smelling. Yeah, yeah, Well, maybe if I do both at the same time, you could kind of try the full experience. Yeah, it, nope. it just doesn't taste it's not like a it. thing. It it's just not. doesn't taste like it. It is a nice, like, it's a nice back and forth. You know, as you bring it up, you get a whiff of that, and then you get the taste. I mean, it works hand in hand, but it's definitely, like, All right, tell me about the taste. To smell. Tell me about the taste. So the taste is crisp, but creamy. Fuck off! Ugh. They're like, Simon. Um... It's crisp. Whoa! It's crisp and creamy. Grow up! <laughs> oh, grow up! <laughs> you grow up! <laughs> crisp and creamy doesn't make any sense, but I, I feel you. Because it because it has this like sort of bite to it. You know what I mean? It's like high end bite that like gives you a crisp feeling, but then at the same time. Like, it also has this, like, creamy juiciness to it. Ooh, you I missed. Could you know? Yeah, it's over there. I almost got it. Almost got it. So close. Yeah. All right. Um, but it's, like, a little juicy. I think the earthiness transfers over to the taste. Um, at least a little bit on that lower end. And definitely in the aftertaste. Maybe not right away. But especially in the aftertaste. I feel like we're not lining up here right now. No, I'm agreeing with you. Okay. I, I, well, because I'm, I'm agreeing with it, what you said, and we've covered um, smell and taste. Right. And so, and I, I intentionally didn't look at the... Uh, oh, you might have got that. Oh, I did! Shit! I uh, let it go! <laughs> anyways... Uh, I intentionally didn't look at the taste notes for this beer, but I did include them. Okay. So it's uh, they describe it as light copper and off-white foam. Uh, a little orangey for me to say copper. Like this looks oh, like they, copper. Oh, they literally mean the it, look. I I think so. Okay. Yeah, that's and, not copper because they say off-white foam. Okay. Yeah. I see, yeah. but like I don't, I don't really get the copper. Yeah, I don't agree with copper. Uh, dank aromas of peach, mm. citrus, papaya, and blueberry. Peach is the fruit that I wanted. Not necessarily. I like peach. I don't want to rule very out vanilla. Yeah, and I don't want to rule out pineapple because maybe that's the citrusiness that I'm it, picking up. No, on. no, it's coming up here. Bright flavors of lychee fruit. And this is where it comes in. Grapefruit. And a light candy maltiness. Ah, okay. What? Did you get it? No. Uh, finishes fresh, hoppy, and piney with a touch of grapefruit rind. I agree with all of that, but I don't know if I agree with the pininess. And maybe that's the earthiness. That I think that's probably the earthiness that they're touching on. Um, I don't know if I would attribute it to a pine, though. I don't necessarily think I would call it that. Yeah, it's it's interesting because, like when I when I hear finishes fresh, hoppy, piney with a touch of grapefruit, um, I'm expecting something that's a lot more earthy, 
kind of got more of a bite to it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, especially with grapefruit, like, I'm thinking bite with, like, a kind of, like, a sap, like, a little sour high note. E- and even if this you say... Is, it, this is creamy, dude. Yeah, and even if you say a touch, it's, like, even a touch of grapefruit rind is, like, relatively overpowering. Like, it's going to have a lot more of a significant role than you say it ever does because of how strong of a flavor it is. Like, how bitter it is. Yeah, I can see a lot of that stuff going on in, like, the aroma. Mm-hmm. But... As far as smell goes, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, like, paranoid about the fly. I just felt like, I just, I don't know. I think you're probably paranoid. Carry on. I'm going to interject. The peachiness, I'm thinking, is actually transferring over into the flavor. I Now, now that we I, said peach, I hate, my mind's on it. I hate to do that. That's why I didn't look at the notes until after, right? Yeah, and I hate to do that, but, like, but we said like, creaminess. We did. And yeah, that I think that is what gives it that smooth flavor. Yes. And that's what I would say. I'm like, oh my gosh, this like creamy fruit flavor, that's what I would attribute that to. I just couldn't think of a peach. I named it Peachy Smooth. I love it. Yeah. Love it. Um That about wraps it up and I would taste. And I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't call it like a extreme like I think the hop. The hops really come through in the aroma more than it does in the taste. Did they say the aroma or taste was dank? Uh, they said uh, when they're describing the aroma, they said dank aromas of peach, citrus, pie, and blueberry. Okay. But they said finishes fresh, hoppy, and piney. I think you get the hops more up front than you do on the finish. Agreed. Personally, and I still like. I probably. I don't know. I think it's a good. I think it's a good amount of hop flavor, but you know, I was I was like hops so. I know, that's also something you have to, like, roll back and gauge. You're like, all right, I love hops. And so it's like, is this actually not super hoppy? Or is it just because I fucking love that flavor that it actually is pretty hoppy? Because it actually is a pr- decently hoppy it is. beer. It is. It is a pretty decently hoppy beer, yeah. Like, I would not, like, be like, someone who's, like, never had a beer in their life, I would not give them this beer. No, probably not. They would not. Prob- they'd probably not enjoy this. So, uh, last little bit we got going on here. Feel? Yep. Um... Pretty smooth, um, especially for how like carved it is. Totally, totally. Um, it's got the. I think the creaminess uh, transfers over into the feel too. It kind of does. It kind of coats your tongue a little bit. Yeah. Um, I really don't know what to say outside of that. Like it's creamier for the carbonation. It's creamier than you'd expect. It sticks on your tongue a little bit. Yep, maybe I wouldn't really describe it as sticky, but like no, and if and honestly, if anything, I think the coats your tongue is probably the it best. coats your tongue. But then, like, like if you chill for a while, it really that like hoppy bitterness like leaves you dry and wanting more, mm. and that's probably why we keep going through this so quickly. Probably a bit, yeah. It's just like I just want this in my mouth always. I don't want it to leave. So, following our current pattern, uh, you'll rate it first. Fair. What do you think of this beer? Um. Or am I rating down so no one thinks it's fake? See, I feel like I should be. I feel like I should be harsh. Okay. But then my second thought is like, you know, maybe I think I'm. I should be harsh because I really like this beer. And because of that, I'm just going to give it a solid four. That's a great. I am sticking with that. I think it's a very tasty beer. For how juicy and sweet it is, it's not like pouring sugar into your mouth. It's not like a one and done beer like a lot of those like overly sweet beers can be. Mm -hmm. It has a decent, it's actually a great hot profile to it. Um, A decent amount of bite. That like yep. complements the sweetness there, and so I could e- I could easily have a six or of these in a night and feel great about myself because it also doesn't sit super heavy in you either. That is that is one of the nice things that we didn't talk about. It actually is like very light. Like I'm not burping at all. No, you did a little bit, but you're a burper, so yeah, not surprising. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm like I'm really comfortable for being. 
yep. a year and a half in. Totally. So. Yeah. So, kind of agree with you there. Stick in so. uh, I'm giving it a down the middle of the road, 3.5 good. Um, I agree with all your points. Um, I think I've actually liked this beer more uh, in bottle form, mm. which might be tainting my, yeah. my opinion here. Yeah. And then the other thing for me, it's just, it's a little too sweet. A little too creamy for me. Understandable. Um, keep going back to this because it's, it's like a big deal to me. It might not, it's not, I don't think it's as big of a deal to you. Might not be as big of a deal to the audience, but it's like 90 degrees outside right now. I, I'm in the mood for crisp beers and, uh, this is like, it's, it's just not that crisp. Mind you, <clears throat> come September... <laughs> right. Oh yeah. Oh man. September, October. Mind you, uh, just giving me this beer, be like, oh man, fucking amazing. But like, if you were to give me this, but a little bit less sweet and more crisp, I'd probably be like, nope, that wins. Yeah, I'm not oblivious to it, but it definitely matters a lot less to me than it does to you. Yep, yeah, for sure. But but like you said, it's a, it's a really good beer, tasty beer. Um, would definitely get more of this beer. Mm-hmm. So we'll probably get it again. Yeah. Doesn't hurt that it's a black and gold label. It's very aesthetically pleasing. I love the bear with the hat. Got a feather in the hat. I'm pretty sure it's kind of nice. I enjoy it. Um. Uh. Do you have, like, something you want to talk about, but you're like, I don't know if I want to talk about it. Yeah, this is something that I could get into. That's, so maybe, like, a next week talk? Yeah, it's actually, like, really fucking stupid, but, like, I know I could talk about it for too long because, I don't know. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about on our last podcast, but I don't think I did. I, so, like, I'm a pretty organized person when it comes to the apps on my phone. Okay, yeah. Like, I, I have full, like, iPhone, so, like, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, I have folders and shit. Yeah. Over the past year, I just keep getting inundated with apps. I don't know, I have so many apps, I don't know what to deal, to deal with. I feel like this is my first phone with apps. Let me, like, let me ask you this question. Yeah. What was the last phone you had? An iPhone. What about the phone before that? An iPhone. And the phone before that? An iPhone. Every single time you've upgraded, have you restored from backup? No. How about the last time? No. This point is mute. That was a good attempt. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I get where you're going, but I intentionally don't restore from backup for that reason. Because I you just get a bunch of unused apps. I'm guilty of that. So And so I did what you did finally with this phone is I started fresh. I started only with what they provide you. Yep. And that's I, exactly what I did. And, and I am so happy. I honestly think I'm probably going to do that every other time. How many rows of apps? Are acceptable for you. I mean, you have a bigger phone than me, granted, but how many? Oh, do you Wait, what are you about? What do you have? Page. I have multiple pages. I got that, and I got that. That's it. That's yeah, it. You, I'm. Hear me out. Hear me out. Here's my aesthetic. Here's here's that's my, the problem. Here's, there's no aesthetic. Here's my aesthetic. Two rows of apps. Uh, multiple pages. Multiple pages. Two rows. Okay. That's my aesthetic. It's two rows. Let me tell you. Let me show you something here. Let me show you. <laughs> That's his face not working. Uh, I can't. I can't reach it. I know you. It's all the way over there. You have a tall phone. It looks really good when I'm watching videos sideways, though. I know, but I can reach that. Right. So I would not do that. I get we I that's that's why I said granted you have a bigger phone than I do. So we have two different things here. We we both are not going for a lot. So you only have two rolls. 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 You only have, <laughs> you know, can you guys see this? I got more than two rolls. Kind of a little bit. You got right? a little, actually yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Uh, also I have ways on my on here, I'm gonna delete this actually. Dude, fuck ways. 
Waze is the worst piece of shit. You know what's funny is when it first came out, we were all about it. And I now agree with you as well. It Fuck uses Waze. so much battery, so it loads much battery. so poorly, and it's just a bloated fucking... If they, if they made it simple, and you could actually use the map... Oh my god, that's the thing! You cannot you use it! It you, does not it, work. It does not work. If you ever want to search for a location and, like, scope around and use the map... Not it's fucking, it's useless. Only navigation. And tell me how it just like, as you start to like scroll away, in mid navigation, you start to like scroll up or something like that. It's like, no, 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 come back to where no, you it, are. Yeah. Come back to where you it are. It just doesn't want you to look at it. It doesn't want you to look at the map. It's like, say the fuck where you are, give it to your passenger and let them log construction yeah. and police officers. Also sign into Facebook, you little bitch. Yeah, what the like, fuck no. is that? No. I don't even sign into Facebook with Instagram, okay? <laughs> why would I why would I want to open up Facebook on my maps? I'm this close to changing the email on my Facebook so it doesn't know what Instagram account I have. I'm this close to doing that. Yeah. I I'll just make an email. I, I just deleted ways. Yeah. I am I'm about to I I think I Go ahead and delete ways. Okay, I'll delete ways right now too. So let me hear me out though. So like I don't remember what it was for actually I do remember now. Um, I didn't have Waze up until like a few months ago, and then I was running super late for work, and then I was like, I'll give it a try, maybe it found something faster in the back roads. It did. So I took that wave. It didn't. It lied. It was a lied. huge lie, and it took way longer. I went way slower with more lights. The pro a big problem with Waze too is it zigzags you, and let me tell you what, rather than just going... I, it's yeah, so just, much slower to zigzag. Just sit me on the freeway for the extra 10 minutes instead of 10 minutes of zigzagging through back roads where, like... Oh, you'll be stopped at stop signs trying to make left turns or going through busy intersections. Not like, yeah, yeah, stop signs through busy intersections. Like, that's, that's a hard. good point because it's just so annoying. It takes forever. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to sit here for five minutes instead of sitting five minutes in traffic. Yeah, like, it's no fucking so difference. Stupid. It's an absolute joke. Fuck you, Wiz. Fuck you. Google... You thought you were making a good choice. You, you were Google was doing well for a long time until they fucked up the start navigation button, which we talked about on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a recent thing. Did too. they fix it though? I feel, uh, I feel like I haven't had that issue since mm, I picked you up. So, well, hear me out too. I, I have not. I haven't been allowing it. So he, you probably do the same thing as me. You hit directions first to give yeah. you the. Oh yeah, I'll, that's what I prefer doing too. I haven't been allowing it to do that. I've just been clicking start right off the bat, and that, no th that's not the problem. So I'll try clicking directions uh, and then start and see what happens. Do you uh, Google Maps your way to work every day? No. So yeah, that's one of the habits that I, I have now gotten out of since I live so close to work. Right. I used to when I had a commute, which I thought might be one of the reasons that you did, um, just so you could like, look on traffic and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I mean, you have I, a reverse commute, so you don't really run into traffic. But. Yeah, I don't really ever worry about it. I get I get a little nervous sometimes, but then it like uh, I wouldn't even call it a traffic jam or a build up as much as like a a slowdown for a second, and then it clears right up, and so it's like okay, we're good. What I do, what I have been doing, and it's a habit that maybe I should. Nah, honestly, it's just kind of what I have to do with where I'm at. Sadly, uh, I'm going to Starbucks still. And so in the morning, what I do is I map myself to Starbucks, even yeah. though I know how to get there. It's a matter of, like, when should I place my mobile order so uh, that I can yeah. just grab and go. Grab and go yeah. yeah, so I need to know when I'm, like, anywhere from, like, five to ten minutes away, and then I'll place the Were order. Were his parents found an espresso machine? No, they have a coffee machine, but... but like a Keurig or something? Yeah, it's just... I, it's, I do it remember a Keurig, a Keurig being there. yeah. yeah. Um, which I, 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 stuff up there. I could use and I probably should use um, I actually have I yeah I have that shitty espresso machine mm -hmm. um, which especially if, if I'm just making iced drinks I should yeah, just fucking really use, I should just use it yeah um, or just know. make cold brew that's what I've been wanting to do for a long time it's just I don't know I guess out of laziness or whatever I just haven't Done it. Pretty fucking easy. I know. Especially if you get a cold, like, brew maker where it has, like, a metal filter. Yeah. I'm, I'm going cheap. All right. Yeah. Fine. So, 
Oh, I won't spend the thirty-five dollars <laughs> for another. <laughs> nope. I'll just. I have. Uh, and I actually already have it because of beer. I just have those like nylon mesh bags. I'll throw a fuck ton of coffee in, throw it in some water, and then pull it out and dump it. One of my favorite uh, coffee drinks uh, that we used to do all the time, um, but we don't like make pour over or anything too much anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, was filling the bottom of a Chemex with ice. And then and then making iced coffee that way. Yeah. What 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 did uh they had those at Clatch in California, but it was a specific like device that they used. It was a uh, something with, I want to say it started with an F. I don't, I don't. I didn't like coffee enough back then to really pay attention. <laughs> yeah, it was like a specific brewing method that like the fact that you're brewing hot coffee directly onto ice rather than adding the ice later, it actually does create a different taste. It does. And it's fantastic, mind you. It's, it's such a smoother. good, it's such a good, like, it's not quite as sweet as cold brew. Right. Uh, but it's a really good, like, we used to, Elizabeth and I used to do it, like, on Saturday and Sunday mornings when we'd, like, make breakfast and stuff. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. That's another thing, too, is, like, I have so many fucking eggs in my fridge because I'm like, oh, I fucking love eggs, protein. But I'm waking up at four thirty in the gosh damn morning, dude. Not gonna happen, dude. Not gonna, Not gonna happen. happen. Not gonna happen. I tell myself, yeah, maybe one of these days I'll set my alarm for four and I'll actually do it. Let's be real. I'm no. not gonna do it. It's just gonna be a weekend thing. That or like you make scrambled eggs in the microwave and continue it. Yeah. I, what I could and should do is just like raw. Well, oh fuck no, God! Oh. I just mean like actually just say fuck it and just make my breakfast. I continue it. They have a stove, right? Yeah, yeah. I should just make my breakfast there and not give a shit. I don't know why. Like that is why they have stoves, right? I don't think no one uses, uses them no outside one. of like events, but like also that's. Probably why they have them there, so I don't know why. It's for events or for the everyday use? For, like, everyday use. So, totally. like, that's... Why have stoves if we're not going to use them, so... I don't know. I get there, like, 15 minutes early every day, about, so... More than enough time. I should just walk in and, like, make you and I some eggs, because you're there about an hour early before me, right? Yep. So, I should just walk in and be like, hey, I'm making eggs, come on. Alright. Next week. We'll see what happens. Let's say Tuesday. I'm not feeling Monday. I don't go in on Mondays. Okay. There's that too. Um, Elizabeth use it, sometimes uses our sous vide. Um, and so one of the things you can do with sous vide is cook the eggs in the eggs like hard boiling, mm-hmm. but not actually hard boiling them. Um, so like you can get them to, uh, I think it's like 40... Four degrees Celsius or something. It's some specific temperature um, where it's cooked, um, but it's not like hard. Interesting. Um, we do that a lot for like beef tartare, cooking the egg yolks and breaking it over tartare. Mm. So like the the way we do it is 167 degrees for 13 minutes. Yeah. Um, you could do like extended like hour or whatever but right. it's just faster yeah um so she does that and then puts them in ice water in the fridge it cools them down and i think she just microwaves them like heats them back up and like they're like kind of runny and everything like they taste like uh like kind of like poached eggs i guess is probably the best kind of example sounds good to me i can get down that so she just brings them to work yeah. Gets them up in the microwave a little bit, and they're still running and everything, so. Yeah. It's a good idea. That's a bad idea. Um. All right, should we wrap this thing up? Oh, uh, um, an hour and, Dude, we're fucking far into this, man. Where are we at? Well, hour and 11. Oh, yeah. All we right. can continue if you want. Yeah, we can wrap this up. We'll just still hang out. We can wrap this up, I think. We'll just pour these beers out, and... Yeah, I mean, ew. <laughs> I'm done. I'm fucking finished. Fucking done. The, I look like I got to drink two whole beers. Exactly. Exactly. Definitely look like you get like seven or eight. <laughs> At least, minimum. All right. 
Close this out, dude. This is your turn. Uh, yeah. Comment on all the shits. Subscribe if you want. You can actually do that now. Don't do it. Probably don't. But honestly, do it. And also, all of you at our job who's like, hey, podcast, but you don't listen, fuck you. Okay? Just, just like, give it one listen. Then you'll be like, man, those guys are fucking idiots. They're so stupid. Then you can stop. Uh, leave us a review on iTunes. Um, yep. I don't know. Hit the bell. Uh, subscribe. Scrib, scrab. Uh, and listen to us next week. Okay, bye. Later.